Hello there. Welcome back to another video of breaking the TGDPS demon list with yours truly, SDAs. Now, if you don't know what this list is, I'd suggest you go to the start of my last video. I could go in more depth about what the TGDPS itself is, so yeah, go see that. Also, this intro is pretty long, so if you want to skip it, just go to this uh, timestamp right here because, yeah, it's quite long, but it explains a lot of stuff. Now, before I get to the video, I want to remind everyone that everything said in this video is my opinion. If you don't agree with me, like, I don't care. Like, that's your opinion. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. And before the video starts, I kind of just wanted to go back and answer a few comments that were left in the comment section of the last video because I just feel like there are some things that I've left out talking about and some things I need to address, so yeah. First of all, I just wanted to say sorry about like getting the names of levels and people and creators and stuff like that. I always like mess it up. I sorry for getting the names wrong, so yeah, that's really a lot I can say. I'll try to do more takes this time, so I don't just like do one take and be like, okay, that's over. I can I can just be lazy and not do anything else. But yeah. Also, Explode09, the top three um, TGDPS leaderboard player. He left a few comments on the video, which are actually pretty useful, so thank you for that. He left some things about Condemnation, which aren't too important, other than the fact that it does have a song, I just didn't really realize it. Um, so, yeah. And he also left a comment about, like, his personal ranking of all his- all the levels that I reviewed in the last video. So, yeah, if you want to go see that, I suggest um, doing that. You can either pause the video or just go back to the last video and read it. Pretty interesting. He goes in depth about the gameplay, which I won't do, so, yeah. Also, Breakcore asked if it's based on gameplay, and I responded with the fact that there are some gameplay elements, but mainly, for the most part, I'm just gonna be judging it on deco, song, how the song flows, how the decoration looks and fits with the level and the theme, all of that. That's mainly it. I'm not gonna be going too in-depth with the level um, gameplay because I cannot play the levels. Not only because I'm bad at the game, but also because I literally can't play them. I can't join the TGDPS because I'm on an Apple device, so I just, you know, it doesn't work. Also, Young's commented that there is an update for Polyrhythm that he verified, and I just real quick wanted to say that that's not really going to affect anything in the video. All that really happened in the update was like an LDM was added and it was nerfed, which is funny because it used to be like below a level I won't be saying because yeah, I just I just don't want to say that word. It used to be below that and then it got raised like a bunch and it's at number three right now. And if it didn't get raised, it'd be at like 42, which is, I find that funny. But now it's just lowered all the way down to like 12 or something, so... Yeah, that's not going to affect anything. I'm not going to go over Polyrhythm again. It's basically just the same thing. So, yeah, that's something you have to know. And other than that, I think that's it. So, enjoy the rest of the video. And also, I wanted to say that when list changes gets added for parts that I already did, then I will go back and do those first. So, for example, they added two new levels in the top 10, and since I already did a video on the top 10, I'm just going to go back, review those first, and then I'll get through number, like, 11 through 20. And, yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to leave a like down below if you really enjoyed the video. Thanks, and enjoy. Cause I don't get it. I don't okay, yeah, so that intro was made, like, a month ago. I completely lost motivation to create this video due to the fact that they just added so many list placements as of the f last like few weeks or months or whatever. But there's a lot of placements. I just got demotivated. It was like too much work. I didn't want to do it. But you know, a lot of people want like me to make a part two. So here I am. This first level is called Ha Ha by Wandu. It's a cool level, I guess. Nothing bad to say about it. Nothing great to say about it. It's just cool, like, I don't know, 6.5 out of 10 in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie, I might just breeze through the first few levels because I don't have motivation to talk about them at all. They're not that cool in my opinion. I mean, some of them are kind of cool, but 
like this one, I just don't really have much to say about them, you know? So yeah, 6.5 out of 10, it's, it's fine. Let's just get this over with. This level is called Six Paths of Pain by Gianni Blood, Mew2557, and verified by Eli Gebret. I hate this level, and yeah, I, I just hate it. The thing about this level is it's literally just a nerfed version of the impossible level of Six Paths of Pain, and it's just nerfed, and I don't think it's good at all. It has really bad deco, and just it doesn't look fun to play at all it's really long it's like five or six minutes long it seems kind of unbalanced as well like some parts look way harder than other parts and yeah also i'm pretty sure one of the rules in the tgdps is like don't steal levels and technically this isn't stealing the level it's just stealing the level and nerfing it and then uploading it but hey it's an old and impossible level so that makes it okay right it's not good i don't like it Four out of ten, it just, I don't know why, I just hate it so much. It, it's awful. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? It's a nine circles level. It's almost like in this GDPS, there are a bunch of nine circles levels. I think this is the first nine circles level that I actually had to go over so far. But let me just tell you, there are a lot in this server. Um, this level is called Celestial Showdown. It's like number nine on the list. Once again, it's another Nine Circles level, and Tal is just in love with Nine Circles level, so he rates every single one, so people just make a billion ones, especially like Stellarum and stuff. Yeah, it's fine. I guess some things are unique, but it's just, yeah, okay. Six out of ten, like, okay. The next level is Vehemoth Scarred by Pav and verified by Breakcore. I guess I think this level is pretty cool, you know? It uses some cool block design and, like, effects and stuff. The only problem I really have with this is the fact that I really can't differentiate with all of Pav's levels. Like, if you gave me any Pav level, it gave me the name of every level he made, I wouldn't be able to tell you which level it is. Like, if he showed me freaking whatever, like, I just can't... Sometimes he just uses the same things, but in my opinion, it still looks like a cool level, I guess. You know, looks more unique of the top 10 other than, oh, just make this hard. I mean, ki that kind of is what it is. But the gameplay looks more fun than anything. So, I guess it is pretty cool. Around a 7 out of 10, I feel. Pretty cool uh, idea or level, I guess. The next level is, I'm pretty sure it's called Silent Oxidize. This level is created by Rex, Fire Dash, and Mechanic GD, who also verified the level. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like the hugest Rust fan. Like, I think Rust is a cool level, but I'm not one of those people who think Rust is the greatest creation to ever grace Geometry Dash. But honestly, this level seems really cool. It's a Rust remake that uses like pre, it uses like only like 1.0 blocks and stuff like that. And I think it does a really good job at capturing the atmosphere. And I think, yeah, it's really cool. The background of the level is a really cool part, I feel. Also, the ending, of course. The ending is my favorite part of Rust itself, so of course I gotta love the ending of this part. I think it's really cool. It kind of reminds me of Sunset Sandstorm a little bit, in a way. And yeah, I think this level is really cool. I'll give this, like, 8.5 out of 10. Good job, Rex, once again. This next level is called Tap Rex by Speedy and you guessed it, Rex. And verified by, you guessed it, Making X GD. Man, at this point I wonder how much CP Rex has in the GDPS, but you know. This level's okay. It's fine. It's a remake of Tap Rex, and it's yeah, once again, another remake of a level in the GDPS. It's nothing too special, but I mean it's a cool level. 7.2 out of 10, I guess. It's a fine level. Nothing bad about it, nothing awesome about it. It's just a cool level. <sighs> 6 out of 10. 
the next level is called Street Party 2 by Dawei, Rex, and verified by Breakcore. Yeah, not making my GD this time. So, when I first saw this level, I kind of only just saw the part that Rex made, and I'm just like, okay, that's okay. It's just like a cool vibrant level, 7 out of 10, again, another level I'm not interested in, because I'm not interested in, like, any of the levels today. But then once you get to, into Dawei's part, it turns really cool. I love the vibrant vibe. I don't know, it makes me feel some sort of way. It looks really cool. It goes from 0 to 100 really good. And I think, honestly, it's a really cool level. I might go as far as to saying this is a 9 out of 10 because, I don't know, it just, I don't know. The way it is, it's really cool. So, yeah, that's my final rating. 9 out of 10. Good job. Daddy. Daddy. Okay, so this next level is a level called Blister by Youngs. And... Wait, wait a minute, did this level get moved up? I think this level got moved up. Anyways, basically this level is, I'm pretty sure it's a remake of two levels. I don't know for sure, but it looks like it's a remake of Burnin', Bur Burning, whatever, however you say it, by Youngs. And obviously at the end it even points it out that it's a remake part of fraternized by breakcore so yeah i don't know i when i first saw this stuff i wasn't really that interested in it but over time it's kind of grown on me once again it's another nine circles level and i don't like the pre-drop at all like i don't know the song doesn't sound good at the pre-drop at all and the decoration is kind of lacking but the wave part is pretty cool because i don't know just the way it fits with the song it, i think it fits really well and um, the Friday Night's part is really cool in my opinion, so probably the only time I'll say in this whole series, but good job, Youngs. You made a good level. Sort of. Oh yeah, I forgot to get my rating. 8 out of 10. The final level of this video is called Snowfall. This level was created by Legit and verified by Depth96. Now, I think this level is pretty cool, but among the three extreme demons, like snow themed kind of levels in the TGDPS, I personally think it's the worst one. Of course, that's not saying it's bad at all. I think this level is pretty cool. The deco is actually pretty interesting, and I don't like the song all too much, but other than that, it looks pretty cool. I just think that Snow Cone and another level that I will be talking about in a later episode are better than this level. I think this level is still cool though, so 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty cool. Nothing too special though. So yeah, with all that being said, that is the end of the video. I'm sorry that there wasn't really anything interesting about this video. I just kind of didn't really want to talk about the levels in this video, but I promise next time it will be more interesting. There are like two to three levels that I've seen so far that look pretty interesting and are really cool levels to talk about. So yeah, I hope that that comes out soon. Sorry for not releasing this sooner. I just, yeah, as I said, I lost motivation to do stuff and yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Shout out to people who actually enjoy this freaking, these videos for some reason, like Rex, for some reason Rex is like, when's the next video? I, I, it's really entertaining. I, I feel like these videos aren't even that good anyway, so yeah, but thank you for watching anyway. I appreciate it really. Also, I really quickly wanted to say that I'm working on a secret uh, project, which is going to be my second Extreme Demon, and it's actually like, I'm pretty sure a TGDPS top 50, so. With that being said, I just hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.